It's still as difficult for me today to talk about it as it was in the moment. Really? Yeah, it was so interesting because we started the series with me with a towel on my head, opening the door to him, saying to him, I you can't, I'm so, oh, look, I know my mother sent you, I, I, we can't do this. I'm in a bathrobe, I'm in a towel on my head. And they were trying to figure out the end of the season. And when they told us they were gonna bookend it with Tony coming back from teaching in Iowa, which is where Tony actually went to school in real life. And I said, oh God, oh God, really? That's gonna be really hard to do. And they said, well, we're doing it. And I remember standing at the top of the stairs of the set where I had stood for years, getting ready to come down those stairs. And I thought, oh my God, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I don't think I can do this. I came down the stairs. I opened the door. Got the same towel on my head, the bathrobe. There he is. And I had said to him before, I said, I don't think I'm gonna make it. He said, you'll be fine, Joe, you'll be fine. He said, it's okay. I mean, that's how he was there for me. I thought, okay. And we do the scene. And he says, he's coming back. And What is the line? I say to him, I look at him, he takes me in his arms and I say, you got the job. And he says, no kidding, <laughs> or something like yep. that. And then he kisses me. <laughs> and I just thought, I knew it was time for it to be over. I didn't want it to be over. And it was this, just this beautiful time in my life that ended with the sweetest kiss. It was just, the whole thing was just sealed with this kiss and it was so, so many things. I mean, it was just, it was about to be a brand new life for all of us, mm -hmm. which is this, in the line in the song mm -hmm. about who's boss. Mm -hmm. So it was gonna be all together new. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew what it was going to be. And I got another pilot right after that. <laughs> and I shot it in April. <laughs> we finished in March, I think, and I shot it in April. This wonderful writer named Gina Wincos called Letting Go with George Siegel. And it didn't get picked up. Mm. And I just kind of, we can talk about those other things that happened after that. But that was a very singular moment in time. And it's like it's still in my psyche, mm -hmm. still in my body.